I have a bad back and I need to lose a hundred pounds. Any advice on what exercises to start with to kickstart things? You know, you have a bad back and you need to take care of that and I have no idea what that means. That could mean so many different things. What you need to do is you need to probably, you know, start to figure out what you can do. You probably want to go see your doctor and say, hey, what can I, can not, what can I do and what can I not do? And then doctors sometimes are overly cautious. So maybe get a second opinion, see what you can get away with. But the bottom line is if you got 100 pounds to lose, here's what you need to do. Start moving some way, somehow, whether that starts off as walking, whether that starts off as doing some calisthenics, whether it starts off as riding an exercise bike, you need to start moving. That's what you need to do. Yeah. And then you need to fix the diet because mm -hmm. that's where most of that weight loss is going to come from. And that's the best ways to kickstart things. I agree. Yes. And you know how... Okay, the diet thing, real quick. The, you know how like certain things you go into certain situations and you're hit with feelings or certain things that you weren't expecting. And you're I don't like, get dang, feelings. I didn't. <laughs> I reject feelings. Yeah, but you know, then you'll fall into certain pitfalls because you're like, dang, I didn't really expect it to be like this. You know, and mm -hmm. maybe if you went in there expecting certain things or understanding that certain things are gonna come about, you you have more will. So the diet thing, when you change your diet, if your diet, let's say your typical diet is poor, mean, typically that's going to mean it tastes good in some way, you check, know, like, check. you know, whether it be, you know, fast food or, right, or right. just whatever, just it tastes good. Yeah. A lot of Jump sugar. Us. Yeah, exactly right. So it tastes good. And foods that taste good have a certain chemical reaction in your brain and they play, um, they go hand in hand. Pleasure. We'll call it pleasure. So when you, um, when you refine your diet typically that means it's going to be less sugar you know sometimes less fat it depends on what kind of diet you know you go on but if it's if it's a better diet compared to your junk food diet based on taste and pleasure less tasty less tasty exactly right so it's one thing to be like okay it doesn't taste as good and i can handle that that's cool but the chemical reaction in your brain is basically going to be telling you like you need pleasure you are being deprived of yeah. pleasure and That's, you're going to be like no they're telling you your brain is telling you it's not just pleasure it's sustenance it's survival yeah, exactly. you need yes. not just you want you need yeah. that donut yeah that was the you standard yeah, that was the standard so yeah and, you gotta, you gotta so, get rid of that and people uh, call it cravings that's your craving but it's one thing to be like okay craving eh, I can overcome that for a lot of people but it's, it's a weird feeling it goes beyond just a you guess, want to know a good way to kick things off? Go on a fast, man. Go on a, I, go yeah, on a 24 see, hour fast. Because I'll tell you what, the best thing about going on a fast, in my opinion, is how it recalibrates your, your, it recalibrates two things, your actual feeling of hunger and it recalibrates your taste buds too. Yeah. Because when you're eating this beautiful stuff all the time, yeah. like, oh, that tastes so good. Yeah. And you just, you just need more of it. Yeah. Whereas once you go on a fast, when you have a glass of water, it tastes good. You're like, oh, this tastes so good. When you And then when you break the fast and you have whatever you're going to have, whatever your first meal is, it tastes really good. And it's very satisfying because you haven't eaten anything. Right. Yeah, your needs have been. Yeah, your needs. So uh, that's one of the best things I found about fasting is it recalibrates those those two things, hunger and taste, and things start to taste better. Mm -hmm. It's like, have you ever, do you, so you drink Coca-Cola, right? So you're used to that sweet, sweet, sweet every, thing. Every once in a while. For me, uh, because I don't drink it, if I taste it, it tastes too, over yeah, the top much, sweet, yeah. over the top. Mm -hmm. And be, that's because I've fasted from having Coca-Colas for so long mm -hmm. that it just is a taste that I don't even like anymore. Yeah. But there's a middle ground where, hey, you can have it and you go, wow, this tastes incredibly good, but I don't need a ton of it because I got the satisfaction of the taste. Right. So, yeah, that's another good way to kick things off is yeah. go on a fast, go on a 24-hour fast. You don't need food. Like I told my, when my daughter was going through her last wrestling season, she was telling me, she says, you know, Dad, I was I was thinking, because she's fasting, or not fasting, she's cutting, cutting weight. weight. Never yeah. mind fasting, she's cutting weight. Yeah, water. And her thing was like, you know, if, I, if a person can live for 30 days without food, I can make it till post weigh-ins. Yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. You're okay. not starving. <laughs> no. <laughs> you're not. You're cutting weight. As Big Tony, BTF Tony used to say, like, you're not going to die. <laughs> 
Oh, you're gonna die? Oh, no. no. <laughs> so dumb. I talked to Tony the other day on the phone. He was all fired up. We were we were laughing really hard. I was telling a, I was telling a story, and he he was laughing so hysterically that it was hard to understand him. <laughs> so yeah, BTM big Tony. Tony. Yeah, that was his thing. We well, are not gonna. You're not gonna just die yeah. if you don't have anything right now. Yeah, just stop. See, man, that's so that t- so says so dumb. much about what when you feel like mindset. eating. Just picture Tony. Yeah, just picture BTF Tony sitting there going, "You're not gonna die if you don't have <laughs> that." So dumb. Yeah, just, be, just just be tougher. Yeah, what's wrong with you, man? That's such a good. Fo- I mean, it's real funny when he says it. You know, it makes you feel like a real puss, but <laughs> he's he's kind of right. You know. It's like you're like, oh my gosh, I'm just having this craving, you know. It's like, wow, oh, what are you? How even embarrassing doing? is that? Imagine yeah. this. Imagine if you had to announce your stupid, pathetic cravings Craving. and needs, oh my gosh. wants to the world. Yeah, you know. I, imagine if I had to walk into a room, into a group of people, and say, I cannot live another second longer without a donut. <laughs> like that would be so embarrassing as a human to say that. And yeah. yet we think that way and we act that way. We, do our, we don't way. say it, right. but our actions basically act that way. We yeah. know that the donut is not needed. Yeah. We know that the donut is not needed. Yeah. If you were if you were starving for for 38 days, eat a donut. If you were on day 37, yeah. Yeah. hold off, you might find a steak in yeah, the meantime. You know. <laughs> <laughs> it's so bad. And man, you said, you mentioned that it made me think that it's so bad that this is an official, effective way to like improve your diet. Th- this right here, don't keep junk food in your house. Yeah, no, that's like, that's because if the you keep one. junk food junk food in your house, you can't control yeah, yourself. Yeah, yeah, and you can up. rationalize too. You, yeah. Oh, you know what? It's no big deal. I'm yeah. not going to start that. Co- I'm going to fast in three weeks anyway, so I might yeah, as well yeah. just eat this whatever right yeah. now. That's how bad we are. We yeah. can't control ourselves. I like that idea. I just thought of of just having to announce your weak thoughts to the whole world. Yeah, and how. St- Stupid! They would like if you're gonna carry out an action that's weak, you should have to s- verbalize it first. Yeah, I am about to eat this donut because I cannot survive <laughs> without it. Announce your rationalization yeah. to the world. Yeah, I'm going to skip this workout yep. because my left pinky is sore from jujitsu three weeks ago. Yeah, no. Well, that's just be that's quiet. a better uh, rationalization than a lot of ones that I've dealt with. <laughs> I, straight up, I don't feel like it. <laughs> straight up, <laughs> that's not good. Come on, Bill. 